During the summertime, it can be hard enough to keep ourselves from being too hot in the sun. These chickens though, we gotta make sure that they don't get overheated. Chickens can overheat very easy, but there's a lot of ways that you can make sure that you cool them down here during the summer. I don't know if you guys are having the same problem we are, but we're having a lot of sun, not a lot of rain, it's been very dry and hot here. Let me tell you what we're doing here to keep our chickens nice and cool here during the summer. One of the first things that you can do for your chickens to help them during the heat is make sure they have fresh water daily. If you leave water out for them, it's only gonna get hotter, warmer, and it's not gonna cool them off as well, so make sure that you get fresh water for them. Another thing real quick, as you can see about the water setup that we have, we have the fresh water, but you can also see we have it in a spot that is in the shade. Here's the sun, the shade. And what that'll do is that, obviously, the water won't warm up fast, so it's gonna stay nice and cool for your chickens. Try to find a spot to put it in the shade. The next thing that you gotta do for your chickens is you gotta think. They're out here, the sun is hot, it's beating down on them. How are you gonna make that better for them? Is having spots to access shade for them. They need to be able to cool off, they need to be able to get away from that sun. For most people, what that's gonna be is going inside their coop, which our chickens will occasionally go in there, kind of relax, but that's usually not a spot they enjoy being in as much. But what they do like is this chicken tractor that we have, which we used for our second flock when we had two flocks going. We brought it in here. It has a nice tarp over the top of it, and that tarp puts a lot of shade in there. And now these chickens are able to go in there during the day, and they have a second spot to kind of hide away and get away from the sun. And that has been working amazing for them. Plus, there's a lot of dirt in there, more than grass. So what that does is they allows them to scratch and dust bathe in there, and that dust bathing helps cool them off, plus gives them a bath. So it helps clean them from bugs and keeps them cool. Double purpose. So this chicken tractor in here has been being amazing for them. Obviously, I can't say that everyone needs a second chicken tractor inside their run areas, but having a spot of shelter in there that's gonna shade them off is an idea to think about. And then other than just the tractor and the coop, the two other spots that we have, is us putting it up against all these bushes and all these trees here. They've been able to have shade all down the line of it. As you can see, we have that group kind of chilling out here right now in the shade. It is allowed to have us a huge run of shade here against the fencing, which they definitely hang out here all the time. And that still allows them to go out and be active in the shade and during the day, which is nice. Not just sit back and relax like they do in the chicken tractor. The last spot we have for them for shade it's underneath the coop. That's another one that has a lot of dirt under there, so they're able to kind of dust bathe and cool off in the cold dirt underneath the coop. They used to do that all the time, but ever since the tractor's been in here, that's definitely been their favorite spot for shade and just kind of relaxing during the day and getting away from the hot sun. Something I wish we could do when we're out here. So it's been a few hours since I've been outside with them. Now their water that was fresh and colder this morning, when I came and brought it out to them, possibly could be getting a little warm. So what I'm gonna do right now is I froze water in these Tupperware containers and instead of trying to dump a whole bunch of ice in here, this is bigger ice cubes and that'll last a little bit longer. And I'm just gonna put them right into their waterer. If you have a big enough waterer where you can do this, I would recommend doing it. If not, just stick with the ice cubes, but it's a good way to cool it down, especially when it's been a really hot day. Chelsea makes it a goal of hers to make sure she picks up this rooster every day. I'm not going to be scared of him this time. <laughs> Dad, come look at what I can do this. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure he loves that. Oh my goodness. I'd be a little careful. I would be a little careful. He's going to be big. He's our big boy rooster. Theo, are you our big boy? Are you our big boy? <laughs> yeah, I know. So chickens actually cool down by their feet. So some people will fill up a kiddie pool full of water and we'll have them so they can just kind of walk across it to kind of cool down on their feet. But another thing that what you can do is what I'm doing right now, you water around the grass in the run area that you have for your chickens. And what that'll do is, as long as it's cold water, which this is, that'll help cool down their feet as they walk across the grass. The grass won't be as hot. So this will cool down the grass. It'll allow them to scratch and make the ground softer, which will help out with their boredom as well. This is something that you can do. And obviously if you hit the shaded spots, it'll be even cooler for them so they can be even colder when they go into the shaded areas. Let's see if our buff Orpington here is still being Miss Broody Girl. Still sitting on most of our eggs in there. We're gonna have to get them today because 
it's been a few days. I think it's been two days now, and we don't want her cooking them underneath her. So those are eggs that we're going to have to grab before the end of the day. What's on the menu? Watermelon. Remember, I brought you guys the watermelon. All right, remember, guys, I have the watermelon. Let's do it. One piece by one piece. Somebody's disapproving of feeding all the watermelon to the chickens. Milo, you want watermelon? Watermelon for Milo. Nope, missed. To the chickens. Milo. Yes, he doesn't he doesn't see it. Milo. There he goes. Now just kind of give him the rest. This will definitely cool them down. So just like with us during the summer and being in the heat, one of the most important things is hydration. So the watermelon for sure will try to help keep them hydrated. So that's a nice thing for them, but obviously not everyone's always gonna have watermelon for them and you're not gonna just have watermelon specifically for your chickens. Maybe, maybe if you're a crazy chicken person, you might. Key thing though, is to make sure that during the summertime, they're not gonna eat as much. That heat really gets to them, so they're going to be trying to have more fluid, and that's why you want to make sure you have fresh water, make sure it's nice and cold for them when you can. And then if you're going to bring treats, make sure it's treats that are probably going to hydrate them. What we like to do sometimes is those food scraps that we have, even if it's not one that typically you would make cold or anything like that, we'll get our bowl of food scraps that we have built up for the day. We'll put it in the freezer for a little bit of time, so that when we go to feed it to the chickens, it's nice and cold, and that'll be something also that can help cool them down. So a little tip there, I, that's something that I kind of did. I don't know if anyone else does that. So that might just be my little secret, who knows? Doesn't look like they're eating much of the watermelon anymore though. It was a lot though. We have something very important we need to do right now. Operation Chickadee. Operation Chickadee, that is correct. Chickadee is our broody Buff Orpington who sits on the eggs all day long. And we need to get some eggs in the house for us to eat. Time to get her off those eggs. Let's see if it works. Two eggs. Hi, girl. I'm in petting honey. We're gonna have to reach into our bags of tricks before we just reach and grab her. So let's see if this works. We have two buff Orpingtons down there and a lot of other chickens. But we have free eggs here. I need to grab them now. Operation Chickadee is a success. We now have eggs because we were running out of eggs inside the house for us. So this was something that had to happen. And it's good. She's out hanging out with all the other chickens. Melina's having fun with all the chickens, so good job collecting the eggs. Milo, you want to play with the chickens? I'm playing You want to play with the chickens? As the sun is setting down, I'm getting ready to lock the chickens up here in about an hour. I've been giving you guys a lot of tips today about how to keep your chickens cool and what to do during the summertime and when the heat's on them. But remember, although these are our pets to some of you guys, the animals that we own, they are animals and they have a lot of natural instincts that you don't want them to lose so be careful i always say that when you try to help out your animals here i know that for certain areas some people feel like it's necessary to have a heat lamp in their coop or some people during the summertime will get a fan out to fan on their chickens and those things you feel like are helping your chickens and they are at the time and it's not like it won't but it makes them dependent on those things. The one thing you don't want is animals that start to be dependent on heat sources from you or ways to cool off from you. These are all things that they can do naturally. So it's not something that you need to assist in. Like what you can do, as I stated before, is give them a shaded area so that they have a choice to move to that area in the run or give them cooler, fresh water. That's something that you should be doing every day anyways. Honestly, one of the things that I don't like that I do as much is giving them the food scraps, but although that is not necessarily helping them learning their foraging skills, 
it is helping us with waste in the house. So I use that more as a source because of that reason, more than to benefit them. I don't like that our, our existing flock really relies on us to bring those food scraps where the other five are always out here trying to forage and find their own stuff. And I can see that difference. And just the thing to be careful for as you try to think that you need to help these chickens out that much. So I need to get these chickens locked up and I probably need to get a baby locked up soon and get him to bed also. He will find whatever he can get his hands on to play with. All the chickens are roaming around now, now that it's nice temperature. But one of them's roaming around a little too much. We've been having one of the hens out of the new flock who's really been trying to escape a lot. But we gotta get her back in. What do you think, Theo? <laughs> yeah? Should we get her back in, the chicken? Yeah. Chicken. All right. Let's get that chicken back in. Come on, Theo, get the chicken. Theo, is that a chicken? That's not a chicken. That's the chicken. Come on, Olive. Let's go. You gonna walk back in by yourself? Come on, Olive, let's go, let's go. Walk back in. Yeah, sorry, I had to do the work. Yeah, that's not a chicken. That's not what I said to get. Keep your chickens nice and cool for this hot weather coming this summer. Then, let's try to keep them warm during the winter. Thank you guys all for tuning in like always. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. See you later.